people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today I'm doing an entire house speed clean because I have family on the way to our house right now and I'm trying to hurry up and get as much cleaning done as possible before they get here. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like cleaning videos and I will be sure to make lots more for you guys. So today I'm just starting in my master bedroom and I'm just kind of picking up and then I'm going to be doing a quick dusting but I'm going to use my nano knockout cloth. It's like a microfiber cloth that you can use for dusting and it kills 99% of bacteria without even using any product. So I'm going to be using that. I use that all the time whenever I'm trying to do like a quick clean and I don't have time to actually spray product or any of that even though that's what I prefer just because of the smells. Uh, that's what makes me love cleaning. But on this day, I was trying to get a quick cleaning done of the entire house. So I'm using that nano knockout cloth and I do have it linked in my Amazon store below if you're interested. Y'all let me know down in the comments below what kind of cloths you guys use to clean around your house. I've seen lots of people using e-cloths, microfiber cloths, regular rags, whatever it is. I want to know because I'd like to try out some different things. I usually get questions about the blue rags that I'm using around my house and those are just sterile rags that my husband gets from the hospital and they do work fine. Um, and I also use microfiber cloths as well. Also, today's video is sponsored by FilterJoy, and this is just a subscription service where they send you your filters for your house, and you don't even have to think about it, and you can select how often you want to send, get yours sent to your house, and we do every two months, but we just tell them the size of the filters that we need, and it comes in this super sturdy box so it doesn't get messed up in delivery, and then they also send you some little gifts in your box as well. Before we were using FilterJoy, we had already subscribed to another filter company and when FilterJoy contacted me, I compared the prices and FilterJoy was a little bit less expensive so I decided to just go ahead and switch my business to them and I thought it was neat that it came with all of these little extra gifts. I just love the fact that we don't even have to think about when our filters need to be changed because as soon as they're shipped to our door, we know it's time to change them out. I think Cooper's really enjoying it too. <laughs> So if you're interested in getting a free trial from FilterJoy, then check out the description link below and then also you can use the code TEAMDARLY to get your free trial. So now that we have our new set of filters, when Chance gets home, he will switch those out. But whenever we get our filters, this is also when I like to go around and vacuum the inside of our windowsills out and then I will also dust our shutters. So it's kind of a reminder. I only do this every couple of months, obviously, because that's when we get our filter shipped. So I'm just gonna go around with the vacuum and vacuum out the window sills. I'm also gonna vacuum around on our baseboards in certain areas of the house, pretty much just downstairs. And then the next day I will do all of the upstairs. So since we've moved into this house, we have had that subscription service and like I said, it was with a different company and now we've just switched over to FilterJoy and I've noticed that since we don't have to worry about um, when we have to change our filters out, we just do it when we get them. We have been changing them out more regularly than thinking about it like three months later and be like, oh no, I need to change my filters out. And also, since we're doing it more regularly, then we are not having as much dust in our house, which is super nice because now I can go a few months without having to do all of our shutters. Now we're moving on to the master bathroom and I'm going to do a quick cleaning in here.
On our mirrors, I'm gonna be using the Method Glass Cleaner, and on our granite countertops, I'm using the Daily Granite Cleaner, and then inside of the sinks, I use the Method Anti-Bag. Inside of our toilet bowls, I'm using the Method Toilet Bowl Cleaner, and then on the outside of the toilet, I'm going to be using the 7th Generation Wipes. With the 7th Generation Wipes, sometimes they set up a lot, so I end up with product left over on the toilet, so I end up using some toilet tissue to go back over and dry it off sometimes. Not all the time, but um, whenever it is super sunny. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. Not that yet, true shit. So why do I worry about what I can see? I've been stressing about money. Now for my shower, I've been using the daily shower cleaner inside the shower. So I always clean our shower while I am actually in there but I needed to clean off the door, so I'm using the Glass and Surface Cleaner by Method for that as well. And every few weeks, I like to just pick up the rugs and wash them in our bathrooms, and then we always hang our bathing suits and stuff on the edge of the bathtub to dry so I was taking those off as well and now we're moving on to the living room and I just cannot believe how many toys Gracie June has. She has all these little Shopkins and anything teeny tiny and so since it's summer she's been playing with them a lot downstairs so I'm just kind of picking those up while I'm cleaning. And here you can see I decided to leave a few toys downstairs for her to play with for after I was done cleaning. But now I'm just going to tidy up the rest of the living room. And usually we take this basket up at night, but since my family was coming, I decided to just go ahead and take the basket up with all the toys and put it in the playroom for now, and we will finish cleaning the playroom later. 
Now I'm in the kids' bathroom upstairs, and I wish I would have gotten a better angle because this shower was kind of gross and definitely needed a deep cleaning. But I'm using the daily shower cleaner by method in here as well, and I am just going to wipe down all of the surfaces in here and give it a nice deep clean. This is Gracie June's room and pretty much all I'm doing in here is making up her bed. I'm going to save all the dusting for upstairs for the next day when I do the shutters upstairs as well. And my kids usually do make up their own beds and sometimes I will help Gracie June but she does actually do a pretty good job herself but since we were in a hurry this day I went ahead and just made it up myself. Now we're in Kaysen's room and I had actually washed his sheets so I'm going to go ahead and put those on myself and make up his bed while I'm doing it. I need to get him practicing how to put on a fitter sheet with me but this day like I said I was in a hurry so I didn't worry about that but I definitely need to teach him how to do it soon. It is a little tougher with a bunk bed but I think that he would be able to do it. <laughs> And here comes sweet Gracie June, and yes, she has an iPad. This is kind of what I let her do so that I could get the cleaning done. I think Kaysen's downstairs playing on the computer. So I'm going to be real with you guys. This is mom life. I had to get them out of the way so that I could get all this cleaning done in a short amount of time. And this is just how it works for me. When we're broken, all And now we are moving on to the breakfast area in the kitchen. I'm just picking up from our breakfast and I'm going to wipe down the table in here. I'm using the Mrs. Myers Multi Surface Spray and the Peony Scent on the table.
And we always run our dishwasher at night, so I'm unloading the dishes here so that I can reload any dirty dishes throughout the day. We also wipe down all the surfaces and stuff at night, so that's when I kind of do my major cleaning in the kitchen, so I don't have to do any of that this morning. And how cute are these new plates that I got? I got them from Hobby Lobby for $2 each. They were 80% off in the spring sale, so I felt like I got a really good deal. And here I'm just going to take the trash out. I had emptied the trash from all over the house, and then I needed to clean out Kaysen's trash can because they decided to play Bean Boozled upstairs and spit all their gross jelly beans into that trash can. Start a tear, but we can still be strong. And now I'm just going to vacuum the downstairs. I'm using my Dyson V7, and if you are thinking about purchasing this one, it is amazing. The Dyson, the cordless Dysons are a total game changer, and I always have um, anything that I love linked to my Amazon store below. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And you guys are always commenting about Cooper, my dog, and um, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about him. He is nine years old, he's a chocolate lab, and he is just the sweetest. And of course, he's following me around in all of my videos, but that's because I'm home with him all the time, and he just loves being where I am, and um, just keeping me company. <laughs> But Cooper has had lots of issues. He's had skin allergies, we had to change his food, and then almost two years ago now, in November, um, the doctor had sent, or our vet, sent us to an emergency vet because he was having, um, he was throwing up all over the house and going to the bathroom and we couldn't get him to stop and he was just really sick. And then, so the emergency vet, the they were the only oncologist vet in the area, took a biopsy and they sent it off and came back and said that he had pancreatic cancer and told us the only option that we had was to put him on chemo pills but that he would probably wouldn't even make it through the week. So we didn't want to make it worse by putting him on chemo so we opted out of that and took him home. The doctor told us to say our goodbyes and we were all prepared for that but then as soon as we got him home he started getting better and now almost two years later, he is completely well. And so they think that it was just a bad case of pancreatitis, which is awful um, that we had to go through all of that thinking that we were gonna have to say goodbye to him. But then he started losing his sight and we put him on some steroids that helped for a little bit and then all of a sudden they stopped working. So now we are in the process of um, our vet has told us that we could go see an eye specialist to see if there's anything else they can do about it. But his eyesight has gone very quickly and so he's almost completely blind. So y'all let me know if you guys have ever experienced this with any of your pets. We would love any advice that you guys have if you have gone through this as well because we are just trying to figure out what we should do. All right, so now I am just vacuuming off my stairs and then I'm also going to change the attachment so that I can vacuum the sides of the stairs where the hair builds up as well. At this point, my parents had texted me saying they were about 10 minutes away, so I quickly finished dusting all the shutters downstairs, and then I went around the house with our 
um, Mrs. Meyers air freshener and the honeysuckle scent and just kind of sprayed it down to make the house smell really good. But I wish I would have had time to mop the floors because they definitely needed it really bad. But I didn't want to be cleaning when my parents got there so I just decided to do it the next day. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some major cleaning motivation for today so that you can get up and get something done, maybe check something off of your list that you had to do. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button down below. It helps me out and it also lets me know that you really enjoyed this video or that you like cleaning videos. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.